Now, I do want to add, I'm going to put in a little extra story here because I think I'm doing okay for time. Some murderers, that murderer was not very clever. Some murderers are very clever and um, uh, perhaps sometimes not quite clever enough. But the story I will, uh, I will add in here, which is not on the, uh, on the transcript, which you can pick up afterwards, was um, um, the police approached me about um, somebody who was thought to have disposed of a body in the River Dee um, on the Welsh border. And um, we went to have a look. It's a really fast-flowing river, the River Dee, and the investigation was quite difficult. My lab technician and I were kind of swirling around on an inflatable boat trying to measure the velocity of the water. Um, and it's deep and, and very, very fast. And uh, anyway, the police, uh, and we, we worked out that if a body had gone in there, it probably could have been miles away. But um, the, the interesting part of the story was that the police had, um, uh, had somebody in mind for this. And uh, it was the, uh, uh, somebody whose number was found on the victim's mobile phone. Uh, so her phone was found in her flat after her, uh, some friends reported that she hadn't showed up for lunch with them. And so they looked at the mobile phone, found, broke into the flat, found the mobile phone, and um, the last number she had dialed was this, was this man. Um, and uh, there is some sex involved, which I won't bore you with. But um, uh, anyway, they, they went round to see him and they asked him where he had been. And in order to check, uh, in order to check what, where he had been, they took his credit card off him, because you can tell where somebody's been from the credit card records. And um, what they established was that he had bought um, some gaffer tape, a shovel, uh, some rope, and some plastic bags, and a very large floral suitcase. Um, <laughs> So, that obviously, this prompted some thoughts as to what might have happened uh, to, the, to the victim. Um, so they went back to see him, and they said, where's all this stuff you bought? The shovel, the gaffer tape, the, bits, the rope, the suitcase, and so on. And he said, here it is. And it was still there, or it was there in his house. And the police, you can I can imagine the police scratching their heads and thinking, oh, that's a bit odd. Anyway, but they didn't give up, so they, they went particularly for this floral suitcase, which was very unusual and a sort of body, a big suitcase. And they went back to the shop and found the shop that sold them. And what did they discover was, was that this man had subsequently, after the police had taken his credit card, he'd realised that they would be able to track his purchases. So he went back with cash in hand and bought all the same items again. But he was caught on the CCTV. Um, so they knew he'd bought two lots. And in fact, the body was not in the river. They found it buried in, a, in some adjacent woodland. So some criminals are actually quite clever, but not all.